Hello my loves, welcome to your monthly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. Um, special shout out to my friend Kim, she opened up her own crystal shop. Um, the link is for her website is in the description box below along with all the recommended readers. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do a huge giveaway every single week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes, crystals, uh, Bibles, um, self-help books. It's a lot of fun. So how to enter the giveaway, uh, the instructions are in the description box below. I also do um, a $250 giveaway the last week of the month. You do not have to enter for that giveaway. Uh, I just read the comments, how the readings resonate with you guys, okay? So, again, don't forget to click that notification bell because you don't want to win and then, you know, miss the shout out, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, November 2020. Oh, five of cups. And the nine of cups. So someone here made a selfish decision, Capricorn. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, the Queen of Cups, so we've got a true pair on the board, the King to the Queen of Cups, and we have the Page of Cups, more water energy here, a lot of water, so guys, someone here did made a stupid mistake, someone made a stupid mistake, we've got a true pair, King to the Queen of Cups on the board here, um, definitely a lot of love in this connection, but that Knight of Wands is right in the middle. So someone here cheated, someone lied, someone here did something silly, something very selfish. And now this Queen of Cups... <laughs> oh, God bless me, the truth. Allergies are horrible. So someone here um, deserves an apology, or someone's waiting for an apology, okay? Four of Cups here, you know, someone is... Uh, Someone's a little pissed. Someone's not seeing the love that they have in front of them. Let's see. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Ooh, this could be that someone's coming in with an apology and that apology is being rejected with that Four of Cups under the deck. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. Someone's no longer trusting. The trust is gone. The connection has changed. We've got the Sun card here, Leo Energy, and the Three of Wands. I feel this truth has shown somebody that, okay, so you're still looking, you know what I'm saying? You're still seeking, um, six of swords and the ace of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like someone here got clear on what they want and what they want is not here. Someone here is out for new love. Um, someone's like, you know what? You, you keep looking at the neighbor's yard. I love you. I really do. But I'm realizing here that there is something better out there for me. Six of swords and the ace of pentacles. Someone here is moving on. Nine of wands. The knight of cups. Someone here is tired of dishing out love. They're tired of dishing out love. Six of wands. And the strength card, Leo energy, someone here has their pride. Someone here has their pride. Like, if you think I won't, I may love you, but I will cut you out of my life so quick. Like, you know, I now that I don't trust you and I'm unsure of you, I'm not going to let you back into my heart space. I am done loving you. I know my worth and I will pull away from this. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Yeah, someone here is realizing that it's going to take too long for someone here to commit. They're realizing the truth of the situation. There may be a lot of love in this connection, but there's no commitment. There's no stability. Um, and it is a soul tie connection. The Eight of Wands. 
and the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre empress energy i feel that capricorn you're like listen i want to move on i want to be single i want to worry about myself i wanted you i definitely don't need you do you understand what i'm saying three of pentacles and the four of wands yeah I, capricorn you want a solid foundation here you want a perfect counterpart you want an emperor you're looking for your divine masculine your divine feminine you know you're looking for the one here not for games page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy and the three of swords yeah instead you keep finding out about third party situations do you understand what I'm saying? You're looking for stability and you keep finding out about third party situations or this person keeps breaking your heart and coming in with these apologies and you're forced to forgive, forgive, forgive. Two of cups under the deck. Again, strong soulmate connection, but with the 10 of swords here, I feel like it's over. I feel like it's over. There's a lot of promise here. There's a lot of promise. I promise you we're going to have a 10 of pentacles. We're going to get married. We're going to have a house. I promise you this. I promise you that. And I feel like someone is starting to realize that this is all uh, mind games. It's all mind games. It's toxic Capricorn energy here. It's toxic. It's mind games. And I feel like you're tired of being jealous. You're tired of being upset. You're tired of fighting with this person. You're tired. And I feel like for many of you, it really is. Uh, this person won't stop cheating. You know, this person won't stop. Everything seems to be okay other than this one fact. And that's a big thing, you know. They won't stop cheating. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is going to regret this decision because you're giving them all ten of your cups. Nine of Cups and... Um, the death card, scorpionic energy. This is over because this person keeps doing things that serve their best interest. Like if this person wants something, if they see something that they like, they have to go touch it. I got to go touch it. But they don't think, you know, I have something good at home. They just, this person doesn't think. King of cups and the nine of swords. Yeah, they, they regret it. Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. They know. They know that this is ended because of their behavior. They're fully aware. Five of Cups again. This person can't control themselves. Queen of Cups and the Chariot. Cancerian Energy. You're moving forward here. You're coming up as the Queen of Cups and you're doing what's best for you. Page of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yeah, they're going to come in and apologize and you're like, no, <laughs> no, this is just mind games at this point. No more mind games. This is a karmic soulmate. Capricorn, you're leaving a karmic behind. The Justice card and the Two of Cups, Libra Energy. You're leaving a karmic behind. Queen of Swords. Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. You're going to heal yourself. You're going to forgive this person, but your feelings have changed. The Death card and the Three of Wands. Your feelings have changed. You, you want something more, something different somewhere else. The Sun card and the Eight of Swords. You're realizing here that this person has had you so mentally trapped in this... In, it's fuckery. That's what this is. I have to say, you know, this person keeps promising and promising and promising and all they deliver is pain. Three of wands and the emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. I told you you're wanting an emperor here. You want something solid and real. Six of swords and the two of pentacles. I feel like you weren't sure as to whether or not you should leave this person, um, but you are. Ace of pentacles and the tower, uh, Aries, Scorpionic energy. You're going to make a snap decision. You're going to make a snap decision and you're going to get the hell out. Nine of Wands and the Fool, Aries Energy, Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're done. You're done with this person being non-committal while you just pour love on this. Okay, you give this person a lot. There you are, Queen of Cups again. I mean, you're coming up as the Queen of Cups. A lot of love, nurturing, kindness, gender doesn't matter, guys. We read energy here. A lot of love, a lot of kindness, a lot of um, caring, attention. And with the Six of Wands and the Star card, Aquarian energy, the Strength card, and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, I feel like you were really good to this person. You always kept a smile on your face. You stayed loyal. You stayed committed. You kept hope in your heart. Um, every time this person asks for forgiveness, you were strong enough to forgive, but you're starting to realize here that this person is never going to commit, or if they do commit, it's going to be one it's going to take a long time, and you just can't, you can't deal with them procrastinating anymore. Piscean energy, Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. You're realizing here that in order for you to have what you want 
in order for this wheel to turn in your favor you have to get rid of the blockages and this person is blocking your way there's no equal give and take here this person is constantly distracted by third party energies and they don't want to give it up they don't want to give it up eight of wands and the ace of cups you're moving towards new love yep new love new sex talking to new people we have a new person coming in here capricorn you've got someone new coming in you're going to be single you're going to start talking to someone you're going to meet someone very soon after you leave this person i feel like sex is going to be amazing love is going to be amazing this person is going to be solid stable dependable four of wands and the nine of wands i feel like where you're I feel like you've been so hurt by this toxicity and you're going to feel so at home with this person because it's going to feel safe. It's going to feel safe. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, excuse me, Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant Taurus energy, Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So Capricorn, what's happening here is when this person finds out that you're with this new person, they're going to want to come in and block it. They're going to come in and offer you commitment now. They're coming in to, to get rid of the third party energy because they have regrets and they want to win your stability. They want to win this. Do you understand? So they may come in fighting for you. I don't know if you're going to take that offer or not. But it's going to be after you meet someone new. Deception. This person is a cheater. This person is a cheater. Seventh chakra. And I feel like you're getting the downloads. You know. You know. You just know that this person is just a liar. You feel it express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture a personal a personal issue uh, reaches resolution so capricorn i feel like you've just been oozing love remember how i told you you're coming up as the queen you're just the more this person hurts you the more you just give love and give love and give love and this is a personal problem capricorn you have to stop you know yet you have to stand up for yourself which is what you're doing now okay and that's what i'm saying here this this person has has been able to manipulate you for a long time manipulate you into getting into your head to show them love while they lie to you and you're done with that settling in love maybe you've given up on finding true love and decided to settle settle for second best don't make that mistake so capricorn maybe you come to this this idea in your head you've gotten this idea in your head that you know what i'm not going to find anything better i'm not going to find anything better i might as well just settle and shut up and deal with it not true Capricorn because as soon as you walk away you're going to find someone new and you're going to be so happy that this ex comes back in rushing to offer marriage and commitment I don't know if you're going to take it though because you look really happy here you look really happy but don't settle because there's something better out there for you okay I love you guys bye